Hello my friends again and welcome to another quick tip tutorial video for Adobe Premiere Pro and today I'm gonna show you how to remove duplicates from Adobe Premiere Pro project. And before we start, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. If you find this video helpful, give it a like. This is gonna help me a lot to grow my channel and I'm gonna bring you more interesting and helpful tip tutorial videos on Adobe Premiere Pro. And I'm actually working on Adobe Premiere Pro course for basic level. So if you wanna check it out once it's out, make sure you click the notification bell. All right, without further ado, let's go get started. Okay, so let's go ahead and start the Adobe Premiere Pro. There we go. So. You see, I have this neat project here. I got everything organized. I have my footage bin. I have my sequences bin. As you can see, I have three files here. I have my one sequence. If you have more sequences, let's say I make another copy right here. So right now I have two sequences and I can rename it. For example, sequence two. So right now I have two sequences and you might have some assets like some pictures or some music files. Actually, the music files you can put on a, in the music bin, but you can also put it all in the same bin. This is a pretty easy example because I only have three files right here. So you can see there is no duplicates in this project. But let's say we have a hundred files. We forgot which one we have added. And for example, we look at these files again and we're like, oh, well, maybe I want to use this media file here. So I go ahead and place it in assets. And then maybe I say, okay, maybe I'm going to use that one as well. And I'm going to put this one as well here. So, and the way Adobe Premiere Pro works, it actually allows you to create duplicates of the same media files. This way you're going to get your project panel full of the files. And for example, let's say if you have them listed like this, you can see these files and then you go to this bin here. Oh, you see these files, but you don't know which ones you have. But it always helps to have good organization of your project so it's easier to find stuff that you need and you also don't need to have any duplicates. So in Adobe Premiere Pro they have a function that helps you remove all the duplicates. So to get rid of all the duplicates that you have in your project what you have to do is just got to go to the edit menu and go to the consolidate duplicates. This is the only thing you have to do. You just got to left click on it and let's go ahead and see what happened right now. So I open this assets bin and there's nothing in it. I open up the footage bin and there we go. These are the files right here. It actually removed the duplicates from the assets bin. And in this particular case, Adobe Premiere Pro decides it will delete duplicates that were added afterwards. For, so for example, you have added these files and then after a day or two, you have added files to the assets bin that were exactly the same files. So it deletes the files that were added at the later point of time because it thinks it's not as important as those files that were added before. But on another hand, it also has a second algorithm how it's going to consolidate those duplicates and I'm going to show it to you right now. Let's say we have an assets bin and then there is a video bin in, in the asset bin and there's three videos in the video bin. And we have the same three duplicates in the footage bin. Even though these media files were added before these media files, but since they're located deeper on the hard drive, which is measured by how many bins you have created, let's say right now these files are located two bins deep, one, two bins, and these files are only located one bin deep. Let's go ahead and close these bins and go to edit, consolidate duplicates, and now guess what, which files were deleted. Yes, that's right, the files in the footage bin were deleted. As you can see, it's an empty bin. And the files and assets were not deleted because they were located deeper on the drive. And this tells Adobe Premiere that actually they're more important because you have put them so deep so that they're not going to be removed. But these files, they could be created by Adobe Premiere just accidentally or just like a temporary files. So that means they're not as important as these files. This is why Adobe Premiere decides to delete the files that are not as deep on the drive. So this is how you remove duplicates from Adobe Premiere Pro project. If you find this video helpful, please give it a like, subscribe to the channels for more videos and click the notification bell so you don't miss new videos. Thank you guys very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.